Welcome to the continuing series, Spotlight on Backflow. This tape explains the maintenance procedures for the one half inch through two inch 007 and 009 series backflow prevention assemblies. Designed in North Andover, Massachusetts, Watts Regulator Backflow Prevention Products are manufactured in both the Franklin, New Hampshire and Spindale, North Carolina manufacturing facilities. These factories and other Watts regulator plants and foundries that supply subcomponents are all ISO 9000-9001 certified. To assure consistent quality, every employee is a quality inspector. Each plant operates on the principle of cellular manufacturing and incorporates statistical process control in all aspects of the manufacturing and assembly process. In addition, each assembly is 100% factory tested. Let's begin by examining the major components of the 007 and 009 series. No special tools are required to service a 007 or 009. The 007 double check assembly consists of two isolation valves, four test cocks, and two independently operating, normally closed, spring-loaded check valves in a single unibody. The test cocks are located on the top of the unit for ease of access during testing. Two types of test cocks are used by Watts Regulator, the quarter-turn ball valve style TC1 and the push type EZTC. Both check springs in the double check assembly feature a nominal spring value of approximately 1.5 PSI. This will assure the minimum 1 PSI for field testing after the rubber goods compress over time. The reduced pressure type 009 includes a normally open differential valve between the two checks. In the 009 series, the first check value is approximately 8 PSI and the second check identical to the 007 is approximately 1.5 PSI. The 007-009 series is true line sized, allowing the checks to open farther to minimize fouling. The straight line flow pattern smooths the flow path, minimizing pressure loss and wear on the check guides. While different sizes within the series vary slightly in appearance, they all feature the same basic construction. Access through a single cover, both checks and the relief valve are modular. The check springs are contained for safety and held in place by the module's cage. To ensure accurate seating, the cage guides the poppet along the sides to limit side-to-side -side movement during the flow. It also guides in the center to evenly distribute the spring force around the circumference of the seat disc, thus ensuring a tight seal. The poppet features a large disc retainer to prevent the disc from being displaced during periods of high velocity. To prevent parts from vibrating loose or corroding away, no screws are used to hold the disc retainer in place. The disc retainer is permanently attached to the disc holder. Cut or torn discs must be replaced. Because of today's stringent water treatment requirements, Many ordinary rubber compounds can rapidly deteriorate when exposed to such treatment methods as chloramine use. Watts uses only chemical resistant materials. The 007-009 series has been field tested and approved by the Foundation for Cross-Connection Control and Hydraulic Research at the University of Southern California. Damage or corrosion of a machine seat in a bronze body would require replacement of the entire body. As in all Watts testable backflow prevention assemblies, the seats of the check valves are replaceable without the use of special tools. The seats are included in the check modules. In keeping with our policy of avoiding corrosion or galling of threads in the waterway, the seats in the 007 and 009 series are plastic and positioned in the body by sliding the check module into a machined bore. As with competitor's threaded seats, an O-ring is used to seal between the body and the seat. The O-ring must be free from nicks, cuts, or indentations and be lubricated before installation of the check module. 
Make sure the check modules are placed completely into the check bore, enabling the retainer to be placed into position without force. The design of the Watts regulator seats also includes built-in limit stops to prevent damage to the seat disc from back pressure caused by thermal expansion. By using a sliding check module, a certain amount of movement is allowed, limiting damage due to shock waves. This movement will be seen on the test gauge and is similar to that of disc compression. When performing some tests, you may need to account for check movement. Even though the check is holding tight, a falling reading may not indicate a leaking check and the tester must then continue with a confirming back pressure test. The relief valve is located in line between the two checks to streamline the design and enable the installer to avoid space or service problems. Guided both top and bottom for accurate seating, the top of the relief valve stem features an O-ring seal on the stem guide to minimize the friction losses and a replaceable stem guide on the bottom. Both O-rings should be lubricated. The relief valve seat disc is bonded to the disc holder to prevent slippage or displacement. To replace the disc, gently unscrew the lower guide and remove the disc. The seat should be examined by pushing or tapping out from the underside of the discharge port. The threadless seat is pressed back into place after lubricating the seat o-ring. The diaphragm does not seal the cover. The relief valve features separate o-rings for the cover and sensing passageway to control the squeeze on the diaphragm. This eliminates tearing and alignment problems from bolting through a diaphragm. The cover features an air vent with dust cover to ensure a smoothly operating relief valve piston and an air bleed screw to remove air from the high side of the diaphragm. The cover O-ring should also be lubricated when reassembling. Note, lubricate all O-rings. Do not lubricate seat discs, diaphragms, or plastic parts. Use only Watts Regulator RK009 Lube. The use of any other grease or lubricant may cause swelling or deterioration. Use of parts other than factory supplied will void all approvals and warranty coverage. Factory parts are designed and manufactured specifically for the temperature ranges, chemical resistance, and supply pressures for water service. The sensing line is internal to eliminate vandalism. Oversized and top-mounted, the sensing line does not pick up the dirt and debris found in some systems. Air trapped on the high side of the diaphragm or in the internal sensing line is compressible and, as with any RPZ, would cause erratic performance including dumping of the relief valve and should be vented through the bleed screw. If you have questions on the 007, 009, or other Watts regulator products, such as the 008 QT indoor vacuum breaker or the TWS and 800 FR cold weather valves, please do not hesitate to contact your local Watts regulator agent, local wholesaler, or the factory at 508-688-1811.